ever wondered how scientists figure out the role of specific genes in our bodies? The answer lies in genetic screening. Genetic screening is an invaluable tool in the world of science. It offers a window into the complex world of genetics, allowing us to identify and analyze multiple genes within cells. By disrupting these genes, we can observe the resulting phenotypic effects, the visible traits or characteristics that manifest as a result. These investigations can range from resistance to antibiotics, activation of a fluorescent marker, to faster cell growth. This process allows us to draw correlations between a gene and its function, unlocking the secrets of our genetic blueprint. As we peel back the layers of our genetic makeup, we are better equipped to understand diseases, develop treatments, and advance medical research. Now, let's delve into the two popular methods used in high-throughput genetic screening, CRISPR and RNA. Before the discovery of CRISPR, RNA libraries were the go-to choice for screening gene function. But how do these two methods differ? Let's dive in. RNA interference, or RNI, operates by blocking the expression of specific genes. This technique uses small RNA molecules that pair with messenger RNA, the molecule that conveys genetic information from DNA to the protein-making machinery of the cell. This pairing process either destroys the messenger RNA or prevents it from being translated into protein, effectively silencing the gene. On the other hand, CRISPR, an acronym for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, takes a more direct approach. It uses a protein called Cas9, guided by a short piece of RNA, to cut DNA at a specific location. This cut can disrupt gene function, or it can be used to introduce new genetic material. The precision of CRISPR allows researchers to target and manipulate specific genes more effectively than RNI. CRISPR's rise to prominence is largely due to the availability of arrayed synthetic sgRNA libraries. These libraries contain a collection of guide RNAs, each designed to target a different gene. The arrayed format of these libraries simplifies data deconvolution compared to the pool format used in RNI. Each well of an arrayed library contains a single guide RNA, making it easy to link observed effects to specific genes. This is a significant advantage over pooled libraries, where multiple guide RNAs are mixed together complicating data analysis. Furthermore, synthetic sgRNA achieves consistently high editing efficiencies. This means that a larger proportion of cells in a sample will have the desired genetic modification, increasing the reliability of results. Both methods have their strengths and weaknesses, but it's evident that CRISPR has several advantages over RNI. From its precision to its ease of data analysis and high editing efficiency, CRISPR has proven itself to be a powerful tool in the field of genetic screening. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the genome, tools like CRISPR will be indispensable in our quest for knowledge. So, what have we learned about these two methods in high-throughput genetic screening? Well, both CRISPR and RNI have been instrumental in mapping the genetic landscape, albeit in different ways. RNI, with its capacity to silence genes, was our go-to technique for a while. It allowed us to disrupt genes and study the resulting phenotypic markers. Think resistance to antibiotics or activation of a fluorescent marker. These changes helped us correlate genes to their function. But then along came CRISPR, a game-changer in the world of genetic screening. With its precise and efficient gene editing capabilities, it quickly became a critical tool for target identification and validation studies. The advent of arrayed synthetic sgRNA libraries was a significant leap forward. These libraries, unlike their pool format counterparts, make data deconvolution a breeze and achieve consistently high editing efficiencies. One notable resource in this field is Synthego's arrayed CRISPR libraries. These libraries stand out for their ability to facilitate confident screening with minimum off-targets and false negatives. To put it into perspective, consider the case of Kalena Simpson's lab at the Peter McCallum Cancer Center. Using Synthago's arrayed CRISPR libraries, they were able to make significant strides in their research. In essence, 
While RNAi paved the way for gene silencing techniques, CRISPR has taken the baton and sprinted ahead. Its advantages over RNAi, as summarized in table. One, have made it an increasingly popular choice among researchers. But remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The world of genetic screening is a complex and rapidly evolving field. Whether you're a scientist in the lab or simply curious about gene function, understanding these methods can be enlightening. So, keep digging, keep learning, and keep exploring the fascinating world of genetics. Until next time, keep exploring.